If you've been trying to figure out how to add a pad layer into your keyboard sounds, you might be carrying the answer around in your pocket because your phone is actually a really powerful sound creation device. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your phone where you can play pad sounds and keyboard sounds through it and add it to whatever your other keyboard sounds are. Thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound. My name is Peter and I'm excited for you to join us and talk about worship keyboard technique and technology. Uh, I've recently put together a course called Fluent Piano Background and one of the things we do is talk about how you can access a pad sound. And a new way for me to do it is uh, using this device. This is called a Yamaha MD BT-01. And what this does is it plugs into the MIDI uh, connections on your keyboard, sends MIDI notes through Bluetooth to your mobile device, and you can play sounds that way. So I'm going to show you that video, show you how this might be an option for playing pad sounds through your keyboard. This is the Yamaha MDB201, and it's going to plug into both of the MIDI ports on your keyboard. So you do need two MIDI ports on your keyboard in order to power this device. When you go to plug this in, it does make a difference which ports you plug them into. This one has an arrow pointing toward the connection that goes to your MIDI in. This has an arrow pointed away from the connection, and that plugs into your MIDI out. Once you've plugged in both ends of the Bluetooth device, the LED on them should give you some clues as to its connection status. My experience tells me that if you see a flashing LED, that means it's connected, it's powered, um, but we need to connect it within the software. So we're gonna go to a, a mobile device. I'm using an iPhone. Um, with iPhone or iOS devices, there's an additional piece of software you need to uh, get on here in addition to whatever synth app you're gonna use. Um, this is called MIDI Meter. Uh, and this is just for this Yamaha Bluetooth device. It's going to help make this connection. So if you open that up and the device is connected, you should be able to click on the devices tab. Um, hopefully it's connected. If it's not, you can just click that and it will connect. Then you can choose your synthesizer app. And there are a number of paid apps there out there. Um, I'm working with this free one called Synth One. A lot of people have contributed to it. Um, and it is free. And, and there's some good stuff in here, some usable sounds. So we're going to go with... Um, Preset 39 for CS80 Dark Brass. And before we do that, we want to click on the Bluetooth button to make sure that we're connected with the, with the Yamaha MDB201. If it's not, just click that and hopefully it will connect. And then we can click Done. And then we should be able to make some sounds with this. So that sound that you're hearing is coming from the phone and it's just plugged in through the, the lightning port jack and into my mixer. Um, now, let's work with this the same way we'd work with any pad sound. First of all, we're going to adjust the cutoff frequency. We can do that here. We're going to lower it. Now we have more of a background type pad sound. Let's go to the envelope where we can adjust the attack and release. So let's um, turn those all the way down. You can hear that it comes on way too fast. So let's try the attack there. Maybe a little bit fast still. Let's work with that for now. For the release, uh, let's try 12 o'clock. That's a pretty long release. Let's bring it down. Good. And then it kind of uh, kind of uh, goes down a little bit after the initial attack. So let's raise the sustain. Good, now I think that'll work. Let's try to mix in my internal piano sound. So I probably want to go back and uh, lower the cutoff frequency a little bit. Um, there's some really nice things about this where you can map different controls on your keyboard. If you have MIDI controls or if you have even your modulation wheel on your keyboard, you can map it to the cutoff frequency in there and have more um, adjustability over those types of sounds. So again, that's a new method for me. And there's some things to figure out, certainly. Um, but that might be a really accessible way for you to add a pad sound. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to play in the background or how to get these sounds going for you, you might want to check out Fluent Piano Background at fluentpiano.com. And uh, we can talk about some other things that will help you to really set up those moments in your church service. We can provide the right musical foundation for what is going on at that point. Thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound. 
can follow the links for something else that's new. And uh, we'll see you soon.